Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to go over the new capacitor and missile operator modes due to go live in the near future. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of starters and content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on new videos. I also stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you like to just hang out, you can leave me a follow there as well. All my links are down below. Just to let y'all know we're doing a giveaway for the new tumble tank if you'd like to participate you'll find the links in the description below for more info without any further ado let's get started to further enrich the combat experience cig will be implementing in capacitors as new components for ships and vehicles these capacitors will avail extra finite energy to expend on ships weapons or thrusters these capacitors are refilled by the power plant as long as the ship or vehicle is on. This implementation is intended to make combat more dynamic. At the moment, a player's focus during combat is to get their guns on their target. But in 314, players will constantly need to manage their systems to ensure that they're diverting energy to the right systems, whether they're attacking, defensive, or need to evade. For example, if a target is able to get behind you and begins to fire on you, You'll need to divert energy to your thrusters to quickly engage in evasive maneuvers. If you manage to get your ship's reticle on them, you can divert extra energy to weapons in order to dish out as much damage as possible during that short window of opportunity. I believe this is a much needed addition to combat in the verse. In multi-crew ships, this will require pilots and co-pilots to be in constant communication while in combat. The co-pilot's responsibility is to ensure that they're in sync with the pilot. They'll need to be constantly diverting energy into the right systems. In my experience so far, Star Citizen is a lot more immersive when you work together with others. So any addition to encourage multi-crew gameplay is always welcome. CIG will also be introducing operator modes for ships. The intent of operator modes is to encourage multi-crewing and to give each seat in a ship a purpose. The current operator modes in-game right now is quantum drive, mining, and scanning. Splitting these modes into separate seats allow each individual in a multi-crew ship to have a role. For example, the main pilot seat will be focused on flight mode only, while the co-pilot will have access to the scanning system. The first operator mode they're working on right now is a missile operator mode. On initial implementation, when you're in a single-seater ship, you'll need to switch between guns and missile operator mode to use either one moving forward. But if you're in a multi-crew ship, the pilot will have access to guns, while the co-pilot will have full control of the missiles. In this new mode, you'll have the ability to designate the amount of missiles you want to fire at once. This mode will not only allow you to lock targets, but can also communicate how much of a lock you have on a particular target. In addition, missiles have been reworked as well. Missiles now have fuel, which means targets have an opportunity to outrun them. Missiles have three phases during flight. The first is the boost phase where the missile will attempt to achieve top speed. After boost phase, it will enter into intercept phase, whereby it attempts to track the target in an effort to intercept it. Once it gets closer, it will transition into the third phase, which is the terminal phase, where it will put all of its effort into hitting the target. What are your thoughts on the new capacitor gameplay? Do you like the new upcoming missile operator mode? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.